Back to the configuration on the system activity monitor, um, you can see all the things that are running in in RAM right now. Um, you can see explore.exe. You can get information on it if you right click it. So it'll load up a website. It's for some reason, it's not going anywhere. Um, you can go ahead and kill explore.exe if you want to. Um, under settings, uh, here's the, the big part. Threat fire protection is on. Sensitivity level is at a 3, and that's by default. Um, right now, we are at recommended level. Alerts for known threats, known as PUAs, and for any unknown threats. Uh, if you the, you know if you move it up higher, you'll get more pop-ups basically, and you'll block more stuff. Um, on number four, alerts for most suspicious actions for all but the, of uh, the most trusted processes. So you're going to get pop-ups uh, quite a bit there. And then you're going to get alerts on, on number five, you're going to get alerts on any suspicious action. Um, this will display the most amount of, alert, of alerts. So, And PUAs are potentially unwanted applications. So default uh, actions, uh, when a suspected threat is, per, is detected, go ahead and prompt me. When uh, a PUA is, in, is detected, potentially unwanted uh, program, prompt me. When a known malicious threat is detected, quarantine and alert me. Okay, so for updates, uh, download and install updates. And community uh, protection, help identify new threats. Uh, participating in secure community is a win-win. I'm trying to see if this automatically submits anything. Yeah, so it does automatically submit things uh, that you that you uh, stop in quarantine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and on settings just keep it at its default level, and we're gonna test it like this. Go ahead and close this. And hang on a second, let me get some URLs. Okay, we have our first URL, and I'll kind of go kind of fast here. This would be a drive by, uh, it's a PHP file, so we'd be redirected to that. Ooh, unfortunately, that one's gone. Let me try another one. I just tested these a few minutes ago. So we have an EXE. This is a tube player, like a YouTube player. Try to trick someone into thinking this is a player. And ThreatFire detects some suspicious activities. This is an application has performed an action that's potentially malicious. Risk moderate gives us the name and the path of where it's trying to install. Um, if you look at the risk level, like I said, it's moderate. And it says this, and then if you go to threat type, it says this attack typically appears in Trojans, viruses, and some types of malware. Uh, I'll go ahead and kill this, and then remember my answer. Proceed. The next URL would be a rogue called Powerful Virus Remover. So it goes at, you know it loads a fake uh, little screen, kind of bum rushes us with pop-ups. So system errors found 259, whatever that means. And if we click next, it wants us to run this virus remover application. And threat fire catches it. it says it's a moderate risk. I'll go ahead and kill it. 
quarantine it, proceed, get out of this website. I know it's bad, so I'll hit cancel. That was number uh, two. Let's check out number three. Okay, very high risk. Uh, program is attempting to register itself to the Windows startup. Uh, you know, threat type. Basically, this appears in viruses, spyware, and adware. I'll go ahead and quarantine it and remember my answer. And let's look at number four. This would be a drive by. Another very high. Go ahead and kill it. Remember my answer. And number five. Hang on one sec. All right, number five. Detected. Kill it. Remember answer. Number six. very high. This one's trying to install itself into system 32. Kill it. Remember the answer. I tried to load it again. Kill it. Remember the answer. Okay, I'm still trying to load. That one was nasty. <laughs> oh, it's still trying. Uh oh. Reboot required. I'll restart later. All right, let's go on to uh, number. Seven. Uh, very high. Let's go ahead and kill it and remember answer. It's just trying to install into a uh, temporary directory. number nine or number eight sorry okay I didn't really get anything off that one I think that's because I've already blocked that one before um, let's take a look See what time I. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to video three. I'll be right back.